a key health innovation. Yeah, Karen, um, I remember the introduction of Zipline provoked a lot of discussions, but today we've come to appreciate its use. Um, aside from its rapid deployment of medical supplies to areas that are difficult to reach, the commissioning of its distribution center in the northeast region last month, I believe, um, for example, showed its relevance in emergency situations where it has been sending emergency medical supplies to areas affected by floods. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a, a dam that broke over there. Mm -hmm. And I had a conversation with a medical professional after our discussion on health innovations, I think about two weeks ago. And um, she told me that she believes zipline technology is uh, a genius medical logistics innovation. Yeah. And of course, there is the ride hailing technology. I think I call that a savior of Ghana's wireless. Mm -hmm. Now, with the likes of Uber, Bolt, and so on, you can find rides at optimized cost. Now, these are also work hand in glove with other technologies like Google Maps or perhaps even Ghana Post, that's GPS, all through the smartphones. There are also the MyTech Ghana app that allows bus travelers to purchase tickets wherever they are with a simple click. Also in Kenya and South Africa, bus hailing services, or here as we call them, cho, cho are gaining a lot of traction because they are reliable, convenient, and cheaper. Yes, we spoke to a, a number of people um, who basically said the same thing, and so we're bringing you excerpts, not from all of them. We spoke to a lot of people. They said almost the same thing. So we're only bringing you a collection. How many of them, I think? I think we have about four people. They about four to people. So, yeah, we, we are only bringing you excerpts from, from four people out, the, out of the many people we spoke to um, about What do you think about the transport apps? Yeah. About the transport apps, yeah. Okay. Um, so before we go to um, Felix, who is right here with us in the studio, he's not late today. Mm, good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you, Felix? Good, good, good. Felix Zarko. All right, so um, do you want us to yeah, hear let's, let's what the guys are saying? Yeah. yeah. I think a good transport app should be one that makes you know the customer comfortable, convenient, and very easy at hand also for us to you know okay. access. Okay, yeah. that's great. And then, do you think a trotro app would make any difference to our lives? Uh, well, currently, would you like to have it. Nah, I'm okay with the boat and stuff. <laughs> Well, a good transport app, it, sh it should be something that's very easy to access mm -hmm. and also um, very affordable to pay. All right. Um, so, what do you think about a Trotro app? Do you think it will make any difference to you? Trotro app? Wow. <laughs> it's a, a nice, interesting idea, but I don't really, I don't know how doable or, yeah, how doable it will be. It should be reliable and it should have a safety feature also. All right. And also, what do you think about the Trotro app? Do you think it makes any difference in your life? Well, it sounds quite interesting, but I don't know how it might turn out to be. So. Commuting in Accra is very stressful, so I use Boat and Uber a lot. As compared to the ordinary taxis, the prices are better, but not so good during what they call the surge hours. And during those times, the prices are a bit outrageous. The idea of a Trotro app is a bit weird because I use the transport app because of its convenience. I just want to be by myself. But I think comparing it to the bus system and train system in other countries, this is something that could actually work. But I wonder how it's going to be regulated because over the these uh, these buses are owned by either a corporation or the state but here trotters are owned by individuals so i i'm a bit skeptical on how this could work here all right so there you have it transport apps and uh, technology in transport is very crucial to the development of our um, economic sector mm -hmm. we'll bring you more about that uh, we'll have a wonderful discussion with Felix Darko and um, Oswald and Nona Daga when we get back. But for now, we'll have to go to um, our very own Nanaoye for the updates. What do you have for us today, Nanaoye? So business activities at the Registrar General's Department have been partly restored. You know, um, it halted because GC Network as well on strike. Oh, and I think you have Mrs. Jemima Owari. She'll be um, speaking um, to her shortly. Okay.
Hello, good morning. Welcome to the news update on Asasi Business AM. I am Nana Oyankra. So our very first story in business activities at the Registrar General's Department have been partly restored after a halt in service provision last week due to a strike action by workers of GCNet. Operators of the department's systems government is said to be losing between 300,000 cities and 500,000 cities daily as a result of the temporary shutdown. And we have on the line the Registrar General, uh, Madam Jemima Owari. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Hello. Nana Oye. Hello. Good morning, madam. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, okay. Thanks for joining us on Asasi Business AM. Yeah. We understand the system is partly restored. What services can the public access should they come to your office this morning? I said it was partly restored, but I also said the most important component, which is our access to the digital address has still not been restored. And so I would still be hesitant in saying that um, my various clients can come over and get services because that is a major component in the system. So we are ensuring that that will also be up before the end of today. And then I can confidently say that customers can come over to get our services. What is the level between um, what is the level of discussion between your your department and GCNet to ensure that I mean things um, get to the right places? They are very supportive. As of yesterday, they, we were all at the offices and they were at the data center, ensuring that the systems could come back up. And I'm saying it's come back up in the sense that whatever has been approved before and paid for. We can approve it, but the the, the uh, registrations or applications that we are commencing with, there's a problem with the digital address. Once that is sorted out, you know, I mean, our various customers can come over and get the service that they require. So I'm hesitant to say that everything is back, you know, everything can take off and everybody can come over. Please give us a bit of time today to sort that particular problem out. And then I'll come out formally with a press release that we are now ready to meet, you know, our various clients to offer the services that we have to. How has affected revenue at the department? Immensely, immensely. As I said, I mean, our revenues vary. It varies sometimes 200,000, sometimes 300,000, sometimes 400,000. I mean, if we have 500,000, then that is maybe... A very very good day it's not the norm for us to just get five hundred thousand every day but the important thing is that this is revenue coming from all over the country all our offices are currently not able to provide the services that we have to provide and so the earlier the services come up the better because i mean as i said it's going to affect a lot of business transactions if we're not able to deliver the services that we do the gc net management are making a great effort to ensure that the services come back up. And once it's up, I'll come up and let our customers know that it's up. Mr. Wari, finally, before you go, since we have you, let's just ask about this. Um, we know some fund management companies have started receiving payments. Can you confirm this for us? Yes. As a service of October, those that had applied to have um, the bailout package that government was offering, you know, to take care of their investment. They were able to get something at the 7th of October. So we are gradually paying off people. And there are two tiers, mind you. The, those who, the tier one is what we are currently, you know, uh, deploying right now. The tier one where you get cash within 24 hours. And uh, if you are 60 years and above, you get everything, whatever your investment is. But if you are 60 years and below, you get 70,000 cash for the tier one and under tier two it's put in an investment for you is of a medium term nature that you can liquidate maybe within six months to one year so we have started payments yes and this is not just for the first 20 fund management companies as soon as i get the liquidation orders for the other fund management companies i'll start the whole process again of creditor meetings class meetings and i give them also an opportunity to apply for the bailout package which is on our website. All right. Thank you very much. And that was the Registrar General, um, Jemima Owari, there.
To some other stories, now the Ghana Revenue Authority says a clearing agent of a container that contained ammunition at the Tema port is assisting the police with investigations. The GRE announced this in a press release, and Karen Dodu has a copy of that release. Karen, what is the GRE saying in this release about the um, seizure of the ammunition? So in the statement, the GRE clarifies that the container described on arrival at the Tema port as containing personal effect, thus household goods and garden machine was flagged as red channel. Now after examination, 18 packages identified as restricted items were found in the container. Now they included 436 pistols, 26 packs of 50 pieces of, of ammunition and one 40 ml piece of pepper spray. Now these items had been imported into the country with the necessary permits from the Ministry of Interior. Now the items have also not been declared to the customs on arrival. It further on says that a seizure notice was issued to the clearing agent and the seized consignment was placed in the custody of the customs division. It finally says that the GRA finds it worrying, mischievous and premature any information that seeks to imply that the seized ammunition is being kept for onward release to some big men. And big men, sure, sure. So we'll follow up on this one and bring you more in our subsequent bulletins. Betha Tubiga joins us now with activities on the trading market. Friday's trading session saw total volume declining by 42% at 601,766 shares traded on the market at a sales value of 398,530 Ghana cities and this was also down by 36% comparing to Thursday's trading session. We had three listed equities participating in trading and it ended with a sole gainer MT in Ghana. As the second most traded equity in terms of volume on the market, 160 67,840 shares trading in this equity. It went up by a password that's 1.67 percent to close at 61 pesos per share. Car Bank recorded the highest volumes of shares trading 424,000. 926 shares were traded in the equity at 70 pesos and Aluwex at 11 pesos traded 9,000 shares on the market. Regarding the major indices on the stock market, the composite index moved up by 11.7 points, that's 0.63% to close at 1,864.32 points and records a week to the gain of 1.01% and a four-week gain of 2.14%. The overall year to the return is negative 17.4%. A look at how the city is faring this morning for a dollar. You will need five cities, 71 pesos. The British pound, on the other hand, is selling at seven cities, 42 pesos. The euro is going for six cities, 74 pesos. The naira is selling at 67 pesos. The South African rand is going for 33 pesos. And the Chinese yuan is selling at 85 pesos. And that's it for the updates. Back to you, Prince. Thank you, Nana. Oh, yeah. So welcome back, but if you just tuned in today on Tech and Innovations Monday, we're discussing our choice tech innovations with our usual panelist, Felix, Felix Darko, our tech expert, and also Danona Daga, our tech entrepreneur. And we're talking about how technology has changed the transportation scene. But before we continue, I want to remind that this show is brought to you by IPMC College of Technology, training the next generation of IT experts. So Wonderful. welcome. Welcome to, um, to Oswald. Felix, Oswald, welcome. who just breezed yes. into the studio. Yeah. <laughs> and and I and I have stories to share about <laughs> our topic today okay. from my early morning experience. All right, then shoot. Do transportation. Let's hear you. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Like so, that. so I came in with Bolt, and when I was requesting it the first time, it was thirty CDs. And just before I was able to press the request button, it jumped to forty six CDs. <laughs> Why? It and after I arrived here, I paid sixty two CDs. Mm. What? Wow. Yeah. So. Let's 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 continue. I'm sure we'll <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he seems a bit sore about that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I'd be sore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so it's we are talking about improvements in transportation sector, right? right? And it's good. It comes to a lot of benefits, but there's a bit of unpredictability with exactly. it in certain cases 
that's a cause for alarm. Yeah. I mean, Google Maps should be able to tell you, you know, um, how many minutes it's going to take you, the yes. distance. And so it should be able to calculate, you know, yes. and prepare you. Let's yes. just say your mom was seeing that and your mom was saying, okay, I'm give, giving you 50 cities for this trip. Yeah. You sit in the car, you and get then, there, it's 62 then, cities. Yeah. What, so do what do you do? do? Yeah. 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 And speaking of Google Maps, over the weekend, I also had an experience. So I noticed when I requested the ride, they told me the driver was two minutes away. Mm -hmm. Looking at where the driver was, I knew that area, and it was it wasn't a two minutes. <laughs> so I was like, so why why the lies? Yeah. You why? are five minutes away. You're telling me yeah. you would get there in two minutes. Yeah. Felix Zakov, why the lies? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm I'm not a representative <laughs> of uh, any of these organizations. Mm -hmm. um, but I think by, um, it, it's, it's an interesting conundrum between you know, the taxi where you pre-negotiate your price. Mm -hmm. yeah. and you say, this is what I'm going to pay. Your taxi driver says yes. And so even if you get into traffic, you get into the worst Six possible price, traffic, yeah. Yeah. you'll still pay the same money yeah. at the end. Even the if taxi it driver will frown all the way. Oh, yeah. He, won't be happy. <laughs> he definitely won't have any conversations with you. <laughs> yeah. um, whereas the bull drivers tend to be but a But your pocket won't suffer, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Your pockets won't suffer, yeah. yes. But, um, I mean, I think it comes with the territory as well. Um, with the the sort of lower prices that you get with with Bolt and Uber and all these other ride hailing apps, oh. there is the sort of no, objectively no, lower, no, objectively no, lower. Yeah. Um, I remember, so I used to live in uh, out in Sotum, mm -hmm. and um, I used to go to Abilene And with a taxi, it usually costs wow, like thirty five cities back then. This mm -hmm. was two thousand seventeen, and um, I downloaded Uber. And I put in the thing, and it was 18 cities. Oh. And that was the, the regular base price. But and that you was would never were, get lower they than... Were they were just starting. Best. They were just starting. And so no, they had I'm to make sure the market it would yeah. still be similar. No, right? no. And they've, they've put the, the sort of traditional taxi business out of, out of business. They've completely changed the way the Ghanaians transport themselves. But then, but then the local you know, traditional taxi is also quite cheaper. I mean, um, much cheaper because... They they are you know sort of um, you don't have one person you know it's like it serves yeah. a bit like the bus yeah. you know yeah. the bus well, I mean yes if you have those um, dropping taxis right versus mm. the um, loading taxis. the loading taxis yeah. Yeah. right the, the loading ones are more cheaper yes are more cheaper because yeah. you're sharing the, the, yeah. the taxi yeah. with the, the bus right more then that's yeah. basically so taking right. a bus in yeah. so that's a ride share that's a ride share, ride share yeah. yes right. exactly and we have those um, Uber has those. As well, I not mean, when it's not, 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 not in Ghana, Ghana. It, it is true, it is true. But when it started, when that's because um, uh, cars that are used perhaps outside Ghana are much bigger, mm. and uh, they didn't have that type of taxi. Yeah, uh, they didn't have that type of taxi system, so it became very interesting. And then there is also the climate change discourse, where um, you know you'd rather share. Um, one car than have like four cars on the yeah, road. Yeah, Ghanaians don't, don't care much about I, it. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, we are used to that. We've been taking taxis and uh, loading taxis. Yeah, we share. Yeah, 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 yeah. just yeah. share the prices. So, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, we're used to it. So, wh what about what about this thing um, you're talking about? Um, is it My Ticket Ghana, My Ticket GH? Yes. Um, so, that's a, a platform where you can essentially just go on um, if you want to go to Kumasi, you can go and see the available buses at the available times. Oh, you can? Them. Yeah. Like for VIP, STC? Yes, exactly. Oh. exactly. Okay. Yeah. And oh. I know they're delving into a lot of other things yet, but mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not too sure what's going on behind the scenes, so I can't comment. But um, it's, it's, it's a very sort of convenient approach. Um, I think the problem, and, and we, you know, we mentioned, uh, or we heard from one of the people that we spoke to out in the wild um, about the Chotro app. Yes. And everybody was like, uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. and I, I feel the same way. I, I don't think that we, the Chotro system is in any way regular or structured enough that you're able to build an app. Or yeah, a and the gentleman around. who spoke at the very end um, is called Nimanche. Nimanche had a very, um, you know, interesting take on this. He was like, okay, if we don't have. Uh, a group of companies like um, mm. two companies two mm. or three distinct companies that do this yeah. I mean you'd have your ticket on your mobile phone yeah. and go out there go to the bus stop for a bus and um, you know they would just keep on going because yeah. they're all very small companies or individual buses and yeah. which one do you take really mm -hmm. um, yeah or yeah. you'll have to wait for it's just right. not there's feasible. no schedule there's yeah. no I mean I think it's, it's, it's possible um, I think the problem is behavior um, I, I am one of the biggest, I don't, let's say critics, let me not use the word hater, one of the biggest critics of Trotro drivers. I think they single-handedly cause traffic in, in the country. Mm. Without Trotros, we would see 
only like 10 percent yeah. of the traffic that we see currently uh, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but maybe, yeah. maybe you are. Yes. But maybe, but there's truth. <laughs> but in I what think you're there's saying. a lot. I, think, I really yeah. think there's a lot they of it contribute. because they, they concentrate they do, yeah. at at um, nexus points where yeah. people converge, yeah. and that that just completely chokes up the entire system. Yeah. But the point I'm trying to make is that um, it's more of the quote, again, quote unquote, lawlessness of wanting to you know get as many rides in a day as possible so you can make a, as much money as possible that's why you see them drive the way that they drive yeah. they won't stop at the bus station because it takes more time the five minutes will, will be an extra whatever 15 cities if i keep going um and i think it's similar when you try and pr introduce something like an app or, or a system like mm. that i'd rather just work around it and and make my own money then then have to sort of segment to myself structure, and structure myself mm. which it, it might might play against me in the I, end. I think yeah. a lot of them are self-employed and so they want yeah. to and continue to enjoy their autonomy mm -hmm. and so they can decide when they want to work or not oh, yeah. and also how much they want to pay they wouldn't want anyone in control of their their, their cars and everything mm -hmm. i think that if a system is going to be introduced it should um be it should be done on the side with another system. So, for example, these busing systems like uh, Ayalulu, Ayalulu so, yeah, the, something like that, yeah, can cool. introduce it. And I don't know if I heard this right or it's just an idea in my head or I heard it from somewhere. It, I think in one of the manifestos, and because I don't want to make this look political in any way, I think I heard something like the buses are going to be swapped or something for trotro I, I, no, I don't so remember where I No, so what is going I, to happen is that they'll be leased. So trotro okay. drivers uh, can have, can access um, vehicles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. mini buses and the likes. Then I, I think it's coming yeah. from the NPP. Oh, yeah. okay. So so then we can exactly. introduce so, yeah. so we can introduce that yeah. um, through ticket that thing, um, yeah. that electronic yeah. ticket thing. Yeah. Well, if yeah. these guys stick to schedule, right? Yeah. So if you look at the bus or train system yeah. in in the West, yeah. right? So the, they say it comes at eight o'clock. It comes at yeah. eight o'clock. Yeah. If you're in America, maybe it comes at eight o five. They're not that great as the Europeans, mm -hmm. but. I, I will never trust a trotro driver to come on time. No, no, in that, running, in, in, yeah, in, Ayalolo is running a trotro. I mean, uh, yeah. the ticketing, yeah. it stops a circle, you pick, Basically, they have yeah. the vantage points that you can, so it's a trotro. But then, yeah. but then but you, might, you might not necessarily, you might not necessarily having, um, uh, getting a bus coming at, uh, you know, being on schedule, like 8.5, 8.2, eight, yeah. eight, you know. But at least you have regular you buses. Have buses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. regular. That's why yeah. it works. That's and why it works. And, and, and we're looking at designing a solution for the structural system, uh, integrating payment, um, availability, and everything. And what we were designing is such that you can actually know how many seats are left in the cars that are coming. So you can know there are two or three seats left in this how, car. How would you know that? Yeah, so in the bus. Yes. So whenever you bought yeah, a bus, like, you scan a like tag or you so just it, some, yeah. maybe minus one. And then you guys, shows, so I, this has this capacity. So, so these are the number I, of people I'm gonna say something. it tells you. I think that a lot of times we try and over technologize things. <laughs> And we don't need a QR scanner in a trotro okay. that counts the number of seats that's available. Mm. I, I think we're, we're, okay. we're over engineering it. How right? do how do how do you know the number of um, how do you know that somebody has boarded the bus and the person has got off in that case if you don't have that? Well, that's why I don't believe in the whole trotro app thing. In the uh, you see, place. and it's also too much. No, no, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you I love trotro. No, I think trotro I is. When is the last time you took a trotro? Oh, oh, I took it about. Oh, I took it about three months ago. Oh, three months. Three months ago, it was good. From where to where? In this COVID era, you. You picked the trotro. Oh, oh. oh no, it was not the COVID, the COVID oh. era. Sorry, it was before before the Karen COVID era. Karen just busted you. Was, no, no, it was before the COVID era. From it was before where? the COVID era. I think it was in. I just come back to so anyway. Um, it was in January. You mean in twenty twenty to twenty? No, I was going to dance a month. In two thousand. January twenty. I was going to dance. In two thousand. In two thousand. No, now, <laughs> now this year, this year, and last year I took a trotro that took me around. Oh no, okay, yeah. Um, anyway, um, let's not talk about that. <laughs> We're talking about apps. We're not talking about me taking a trotro. I'm, just no, yeah, I'm trying to find um, there are certain apps that are used in the UK and some of these other advanced mm -hmm. countries where it's basically the same thing like so you can plan your train trip shows you that you need to go to this station after mm -hmm. go to this station mm -hmm. at this time and all that and I, and I was just saying if the government is trying to port trotro drivers from their old cars to new new vehicles we can now be able to create um, a platform and get them to adhere to certain rules and a framework which would then work with the application Oh, yes. I, I, I see sort of Felix shaking his yeah, head. No, no, no. See, he's, I, I think it can be done. Yes. You know, he, no, it can really, be done. It can be done, done but then like, should everything be made, like he's saying, mm. uh, digital, digitalized or anything? Because sometimes when these apps 
could outrageous first. I opt for the normal taxis. And they are cheaper, trust me. Mm. You request a ride that's you do to increase in demand. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But then you order a taxi and it's even, it's even less than that. Yeah. So I feel... How do you order a taxi? Sorry, you, you walk to the roadside <laughs> and then you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so for example, in my area, if you're not driving, the, the taxi station is like five, a five-minute walk. Exercise. No, like you get your shoes. Five, dirty. five it depends minutes. on what. No, it depends on what you're doing. You don't have a rug to clean your. No, I mean. Yeah. I mean look, I'm just saying. Like so we should have a rug. We should have a rug. We're talking about convenience. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. We're talking about okay. convenience. So there should be options. It shouldn't make everything in an app. Like. Yeah. No, but the word is. For me, for me, apps. Um, 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 bring convenience, yes. yeah. right? Yeah. And um, that's that's what it's about. But I mean, if the Ayalu Blue buses are going to have a partnership with the Trotro drivers yeah. to introduce uh, some ticketing system, yeah. I mean, parents yeah. would gladly, you know, buy those things for their kids. And um, if you have, let's say, you have a monthly plan, yeah, you can exactly. go everywhere. Yeah. All yeah. right, without you know, so yeah. you have a plan, you get your salary, this yeah. much goes into my um, transportation. my transportation, transportation. Yeah. you buy your ticket for the month, yeah. and that's it. And that's mm -hmm. it, yeah. All right, and so if the Totos can provide that, why not? Well, I mean, yeah. if that, that partnership thing works out, then 100%. I, my just that with the current Trotro system, I wouldn't even call it a system. The <laughs> no, with the, the current Trotro one, it's too chaotic. I honestly it's don't think that we can, you, we can digitize that. We we'll probably have to use yeah. a new system and kind of port people with a lot of rickety yeah. vehicles so yeah. I, I guess i guess for this to work we need um a bit of organization among the trotro um right. you know, yeah. environment yeah. Right. anyway it's been wonderful having you here with us felix Starko and um oswald anonadaga and uh, my co-host karin dodu karin dodu mm. <laughs> and nanahoye um, before we go, um, the show the show was brought to you by IPMC College of Technology. Uh, absolutely, and then there is another um, um, announcement um, I have to make before we go about some um, quiz that we're running with other um, radio stations called Your Future, My Future, Our Future. So you can win two separate prizes by learning how to contribute to the attainment of the U UN Sustainable Development Goals and building the Ghana we want. This is how you can participate in that quiz. Number one, beginning um, from, I think, two weeks ago, you could grab a copy of a BNFT newspaper every Wednesday, um, read Professor Douglas Botting's column on strategic sourcing and industrialization. And number three, for um, what is coming up on Wednesday, um, you will read about um, Professor Botting's column and answer a few questions i think about five or six of them so you'll have to tune in to a sassy business newspaper review on wednesdays between mm -hmm. 8 and 8 30 um for the next 10 8 to 10 weeks to answer those questions and win um, a first set of prizes which would be a carton of chocolates um, from the produce buying company and uh, professor botting's book on supply chain management and then you can also win the second set of prizes simply by logging on to asasiradio.com, our website, um, to answer questions based on Professor Watting's Your Future, My Future, Our Future section. Um, and that prize money um, every week is going to be 1000 And then there is a grand finale prize of 10,000 Ghana cities, I think, towards um, around December. So why don't you try it out? All right, and win yourself some fantastic prizes by joining that quiz challenge by Professor Boating. It's been fantastic having you here with us on Nasasi Business AM. We will see you again tomorrow for um, something on SDGs. All right, bye. Asasi Business. Asasi Business. Asasi Business. Asasi Business.